Out of the vibrant chaos of Nigeria's elections, a new name is emerging in African politics. Peter Obi has gone from long shot to front runner in just a few months. Sky News. Thank you, thank you. Here in London to rally support, he told Sky News he wants to save his country. Everybody can see, especially the youth, can see that something is wrong. And we're saying we want to change the situation. The country cannot continue on this trajectory. They're leading to nowhere. What would you as president do for relations with Britain? And why should British people care about an election in Nigeria, do you think? Because it's important to them. We have 200 million people, which, if the economy changed today, is a huge market for Britain. It is critical for them. As Britain exits European Union, they need Commonwealth members. Even on the doorstep of a London think tank, he draws a crowd, seen by his supporters as a break with the past. I think he is the right person for the right job at the right time. Okay, and this is the right time. Yeah. And we need this to go right. He understands the problem and he knows that the youth are the future of the country and he's taking advantage of that. But the challenges in Africa's most populous country are enormous. Rampant inflation, soaring unemployment and endemic corruption. Insurgencies and jihadist uprisings have brought widespread violence. Observers say the country desperately needs new direction. I'm afraid it's in quite a mess. There's a sense of paralysis almost in Nigeria. I do think that uh, a fresh voice, somebody coming in with new ideas could make that difference. And that matters to the UK. All I want to do is dance. He is taking on Nigeria's big established parties. But Peter Roby's campaign is gathering momentum, hoping that'll be enough to win control of Africa's biggest democracy when it goes to the polls next month. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News.